I find that um, organizations are increasingly um, leveraging, obviously, employer branding, but employer branding is not being done, perhaps, effectively. Um, companies have not articulated very clearly what their value proposition is. And therefore, the employer branding is not strategically then being deployed. I find that um, some of the things that organizations are doing is leveraging technology to obviously shortlist and uh, screen candidates. But again, there's challenges, and we'll talk about that around the space of AI and how AI is being legislated in the EU, and those are likely to then affect us in the market here as to how much we can use AI to actually screen out candidates in a process. Um, some of the best practices around attraction is really positioning um, competitive compensation. What I found in um, a company I worked for, a large um, telco, is that you have all this talent that is developing solutions that is going to make the company billions of shillings, but this person earns a fraction of that amount. And so what organizations are doing increasingly is coming up with some creative approaches to their compensation where this individual gets a slice of that, of that profit. And it's, it's, it's again uh, a new approach. It's not yet been deployed consistently, but I think this is one way that I've seen organizations consistently trying to draw in, especially digital talent. Obviously, there's issues around um, leveraging AI for attrition risk. And this is more retention, if, if, if I may. Um, very few organizations are actually leveraging AI to quickly assess, you have performance data, you have data on um, the candidates, how long they've stayed with you, you have information on where they live, you have information on um, how their department is perhaps feeling from an NPS st standpoint. If you take all these data points, you can quickly be able to do a scatter plot and establish who's a high risk of leaving. So it sounds very straightforward, but I've not seen an organization in Kenya today who's le leveraging attrition AI model so that they know in advance that these are profiles that are critical and are likely to churn and therefore proactively create talent pools to prepare. 